this is your backbone. Uh, we call it a spinal column uh, in medicine, and it connects your head or cranium at the upper end uh, to your pelvis or hip bones at the lower end. It consists of four parts, uh, the neck or the cervical part uh, with uh, seven vertebrae, uh, then the back or the thoracic part of 12, then the lumbar or the lower back of five, and then one, uh, one vertebrae at the bottom, which is called uh, sacrum. When we look at it from the front or from the back, which is essentially uh, the same, we expect it to be uh, straight. This is the normal spinal column, or this is the normal uh, backbone. Now I'm going to turn it again <clears throat> to the frontal view and bend it to the side uh, like this. And then another bend like this. Now this is a fairly common condition which we call uh, scoliosis. So uh, when you look at the backbones or spinal columns of uh, the patients with scoliosis, they look uh, like this. This, again, is a disease. It's not a condition that is related to the position that you uh, stand up or your posture. This usually is a developmental or genetical familiar uh, disease. Now, uh, this deviation is measured and up to 10 degrees, uh, we do not necessarily call it as a disease, uh, but we can accept it as a slight deviation uh, from the normal. But after 10 degrees, and I can tell you that this probably, the, the scoliosis that I've uh, constructed, constructed now is probably about 25 degrees or so, uh, it, be, it suddenly becomes a disease. Now, on the other hand, I'll just straighten this again. When we look at this from the side, now the normal, there are normal curves of the spinal column from the side. So seen from the side, our spinal column should not necessarily be straight, especially, and very importantly, if it is straight, then it, this straightness becomes a disease by itself as well. Usually we have our neck, have our neck uh, with its concavity uh, at the uh, back, which this, this condition or this, this orientation is called lordosis. Uh, we have our uh, back, but it's concavity on the front side or the anterior side. This condition is called kyphosis. So we have lordosis at the neck, kyphosis at the uh, back, and then again lordosis at the uh, lower back or the uh, lumbar area. Now, uh, this, is, this is very important because uh, some patients do actually ask me uh, that they have been told that they have kyphosis or they have been told that they have lordosis, uh, what can I do to treat my kyphosis or what can I do to treat my lordosis? Now, uh, as you can see, uh, the presence of kyphosis or lordosis is natural in humans. This is the end result of standing up on our two feet. Now, most animals, most quadrupedal animals, uh, do not have these curves, but once we start to stand up, we develop these curves. So, uh, to some extent, these curves are normal. Now, can it be abnormal? Yes, it can be abnormal. Now, let's let's increase the kyphosis in the thoracic spine, uh, like this, so that, as you can see, actually, our post the posture of this patient or the posture of this uh, bone uh, has deteriorated. Now, uh, the head is not centered over uh, the hip bones uh, because of the increased kyphosis or increased curve uh, in this area. Now this is a pathological condition. How do we define it? Well, the way to define it is something like that. We first define what is normal. And what is normal, we can, we can express it in numbers. And we say that uh, for thoracic kyphosis, a kyphosis measurement between 15 degrees to 45 degrees is normal. For the low back, a lordosis measurement of 20 degrees to 60 degrees is normal. So if a kyphosis exceeds 45 degrees or lordosis, lordosis exceeds uh, 60 degrees, uh, we tend to call them uh, as pathological conditions. We accept kyphosis exceeding 60 degrees, not 45, but 60 degrees as, as a disease. And when it becomes over 80 to 100 degrees, then it becomes a real problem because then uh, it can actually uh, decrease the volume that is left uh, for the lungs uh, and eventually can cause uh, some lung and heart uh, problems uh, that may be very severe and uh, limit our lives.